So let me start with the basic procedure as you must have seen in my previous drawings about you know how do I draw uh, extend how do I draw a part. So this is a what we call oval like this. Then a standing line on top of this, and this is a little circular oval like this. Okay, you can just connect it up, connect it up like this. Okay, then for the B, see this is the coupon bar. Okay, and so like this, when we do, yeah, we can do a little bit of like this. Okay, and a V here like this. Okay. And then you can draw a branch like this where it is sitting. Okay, the feathers will like say will emerge from the body like this. Okay, and then go from behind like this. Okay, where so they are like somewhere behind like this, and they emerge out from here. And then this will be the tail feathers like this. Okay, now next is how do we draw the claws? So they are like the C shape if you see like this, and then same thing. In this direction, also, you know, have the C shape, a little bit of wings like this. So, this is one sitting position okay, of the bird. And then we can draw. Uh, I hope uh, this method is clear to you. Okay, the next one is about one more bird, which uh, like this, uh, in this direction now, so with a difference. The so same way I do this, the standing line extension of that like this and then the oval this then just cut this smooth now like this it's, uh, you know with the parrot looking at the fruits uh, about to eat them okay right. so this again the same method these are branches the branches branches uh, then there will be some leaves like this which either you can redraw them directly like this or uh, sorry you can draw them and then color them or in my tree section uh, i have made a video on you know, coloring this type of leaves directly okay so then like this okay then next is the clause like this same method so the claws like this. when it is gripping the branch like this so uh, the body is touching uh, the branch because you know the weight will come on the branch like that okay now let's do one more bird uh, like say uh, a bird uh, in the same body then like this is a humming bird this and the wings are like this and this uh, like see the other wings part will be from behind like this okay then this is the tail of that then it's like a v okay and then the when it is flapping the wings uh, in one position the uh, claws get uh, you know, bent inwards like that so like this okay get bent inwards like this okay this is a small eye okay and a very sharp beak like this okay so now let us uh, first uh, you know, erase out these ones Okay, like this. So these are the construction line, uh, the guidelines which are this, and they should not this, you know, at in the background. If some tree leaves will be there, it's like a sort of a small C here, yeah, like this, a very random shape. You know, V behind. And then we can have a little brown green portion like this. Then I stack the stock of that and the pollens like this. Okay, I can have something like a, a in this direction also. Like this. So, to a small thing like this. And then we can show some leaves like this here. Okay, some. Draw this one. Okay, so you will see it's pretty fast that we can do it. If you do the uh, it by procedure, otherwise see. Let us see. And there are a lot of children who are in great hurry to you know not follow the procedure and do as you follow that. Uh, it will definitely help. 
the child to or anybody who is practicing this drawing to improve upon their creativity. Okay, so I just wanted to do the redo the shape a little bit like this. Yeah. So now it's giving very nice one because see, I forgot to draw this ground like this. Okay, so let me now it's quite okay. Okay, like this. Uh, if you have seen, uh, you are hardly using any uh, Okay, so then we can show some more leaves here like this, uh, just to support the figure. Okay, so we can have some leaves, some leaves, some leaves like this. Is uh, something in the background. We can have some small spot of flowers also like this. Okay. And there's so many things. Uh, let's see if you see in all basic videos I have played on you know, most of these topics uh, before actually there's a lot of work to be done in this drawing like this. Okay. If you see the like this uh, we have a stem here and then something like this some tree uh, not uh, they are all you know very very small you can call it as you know, shrubs uh, or uh, you know some um, vegetation growth which uh, you know, must be there in you know, that part of the jungle so oh, like this see? It keeps showing this leaves with the stems attached in various directions. Uh, so now we can do a little bit of uh, you know detailing work like this. And see now completely like this. Okay. Sorry, it's still from here to here. Okay. Okay, now let's start coloring it. Okay, so I'll put the, I'll take the lighter color first. Okay, so this portion is a bit uh, yellowish like this. Okay, so put nice lemon yellow here. Okay, and on that uh, we'll find uh, a little bit of yellow like this here. Okay. And then I can have a little bit of you know, a red color here like this. The, all intently what you find. Like this. Okay, now <clears throat> you take a medium yellow with a beak like this. Also, okay, and you'll find on the beak uh, there will be a bit of greenery because uh, right these people keep rubbing their uh, beaks on the leaves to you know, some sort of cleaning work which they have to do. Okay, now let us do the second uh, this bird. Okay, this bird is uh, basically Bonsiana and. Uh, a little bit of yellow offer. Uh, so we can do that, uh, say, and a little bit of dark brown also in some places. Okay, so let's do this uh, bit of one sienna like this. So I can have a little bit of yellow offer here, like this. Okay. Then somewhere near the head portion, we have a little bit of darker color, like this. Little bit of heading work, yes, and then just cover it up. With. 
a nice year of like this. Okay, and then we can uh, the clause uh, we can do a uh, little block. Yes, so now <clears throat> year or so. Now we'll come to this particular portion where I'll just put a little bit of dark uh, blue. This is a Russian blue color. So a little bit of this in the initial stages. Because see, this bird does not have you know, this uh, put this color in place like this. Okay, thereafter this. If you do this particular coloring, so uh, again, uh, I'll just press uh, to use nice picture. See uh, now here, I'm just putting a little bit of black. On this, okay, just a little bit of black like this. Okay, just a little bit, not much. Okay, and then thereafter, again uh, recoloring it with uh, not recoloring it, blending with the uh, Prussian blue. This is Prussian blue. Yeah, sorry, here. Yeah. yeah, this Prussian blue. So, I'm just uh, doing a little bit of blend. It's a very nice, beautiful texture of uh, the color. Yeah. It to be you know, very, very darker and it should be a very dark shade of Prussian blue. So that is how the you know, gray sort of. And you see, all coloring, I'm doing uh, direct coloring. Okay, so you should not. Oh, I forgot this portion. Sorry. So let's let's put here also. But you see the way direction. Okay, so for them to look like the tail feather wing, uh, tail feathers. Okay, so black and little bit like this. Okay, put a little bit of black here. And then you'll find you uh, uh, can just blend it with blue. This way. Okay, like this. The same here also. I can do this little bit. This little bit to like to give it a, a little bit of shine like this. Okay, so now uh, let's yeah. okay. Now let's do this uh, branches here. Yeah. Uh, like you can do it too with the same like this each time it is uh, exposed to more than light and say a little bit of you know, blending up now here you can see like this it is a dark one okay so the downward portion, the downward portion, the downward portion, like this. Okay, so this is like doing the dots like this. So these are all unedited videos, so they have been done in real time. Uh, so there are a lot of instructions which I keep giving. Okay, so please, please don't try to so in my section on a uh, tree, okay, we can have some small branches also here like this. Okay, on this. Okay, so similarly, here also, um, I mean this bird, if you see, is a little, yeah, uh, it's a uh, retreat. So when you maintain those highlights, other than that, they are, you know, actual pigment uh, of the say the object or say a bird or an animal or say living being or I mean human uh, a little bit subsequently okay this is lemon yellow like this okay so 
if you see slowly, slowly, uh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, and the videos uh, which are there, which I'm putting now, uh, there the uh, difficulty level is uh, going up a little bit. So if you have not practiced uh, my initial videos, uh, uh, it will be very difficult for you even to say, complete this type of um, drawings with uh, uh, a little bit of uh, you know, beauty uh, or say accuracy you also can say that okay and then speed is always there okay because see i have a stock of so many drawings available with me okay and now i'm you know putting all of them online uh, I do a lot of uh, you know, classroom lectures also, and the children are quite happy there. Okay. So, this light green in between, like this. And then you can just color this inside of the staff. They're all, uh, you know, generally. So, Maybe uh, they don't have much of me, uh, and uh, you won't be able to see them so nice and clear. Okay, so we can have a little bit of you know, random shape coloring. Okay, um, but then uh, it should not be away from the whole thing. Like this, so like this. Okay. And then we can have more room in between them. We can have some distance like this here. There's some more leaves, some more leaves, some more, some more. Like that, uh, I mean, uh, to me, this leaves is so uh, fast. It's all jungle leaves. Okay. Like this. You can show some a little blocks. Tablet on this glass, like this. So, very, very uh, uh, rough, uh, I'll say, not a rough, a deep focus look to it. Okay, somewhere. Then uh, you can have a center line of the medium, you know, like this, center, this, and then on that, uh, right, yeah. Then we can have a red. Okay. Like this. Okay. And then uh, we can have some stems uh, for this coloring. Just a little bit of sap. Okay. And see, I can even see deep leaf. I can see color like this. Uh, in, and then I can have a uh, light green here. Again, uh, this leaf is also there. So if you these are all um, to a great extent. You know, what is uh, has to be done in schools? This will you know, help even. There's a lot of um, pressure load on the children to complete you know, their assignments where they have to draw some trees or you can see some objects. Uh, so many of them. Okay, so we can just color this. Also like this. You know, with not much of detailing is required. Okay. Here you can do a little bit of again similarly what is there like this. Okay. And then 
once it is done, it is done. You can have a little drop of coloring of this leaves or uh, sorry, this flowers, and then a little drop of red here. This uh, red. Okay, this is so again uh, this one also we can do uh, same with the branch which is there we just take a little bit of uh, brown like this we have a little bit of the red like this okay and then we can have a light green okay So <clears throat> I think so. Uh, I'm sorry, no, they, like this. Now, quickly, I can just uh, do uh, a little bit of outlining to this. Okay. Then Establish a uh, little bit of uh, you know those uh, outlines. That's all. Nothing else. Um, let us see uh, like this. Okay. So we have it. Yeah. So we are there. As we wait like this, it's more lost. Yeah, I, yeah, I have forgotten white. Right. I thought I have missed out the white there. Yeah, because see, it's white, so for you to really so you see that uh, whether the white is visible there or not. Okay. So <clears throat> now that we have covered the, the, this part, okay, now let's do a little bit of new background painting similar to what it uh, is there. Like this, uh, Yellow, and then this side take the uh, uh, medium, say green here. You first see the procedure of mixing, you know, yellow green. A lot of defocused, uh, you know, you can say trees around this, uh, which uh, because it's not uh, exactly the the, the the sky sort of thing here. Okay, so that's why uh, we have to do. And see now that uh, we put it a little bit of. Um, uh, a pastel here, yeah. so when we are doing this thing with uh, watercolors, colors, so uh, it's not, uh, and the paint is not getting idea to the places where, where uh, we will get the pastel, so, so the paint is not getting idea there, okay, so here I can show a little bit of deeper color like this. Okay, so just to show that uh, the background uh, which how do I you know, get a defocused uh, thing is uh, like this way. Like, see, these are pretty bright or uh, like this. I can have a little lighter color here. I can take more yellow to put this bright. But then uh, the, uh, the thing is that. Uh, it should always be uh, something like you no know, background color, which uh, should suit 
to the the foreground. So when we are doing this, okay, so the, the a little bit of color here and there is uh, okay. okay. So now this center portion which is there, I can have a much uh, brighter and see a little bit of sky seen through that. Okay. Okay. A very lighter uh, cobalt blue, or say maybe even a your depth uh, here. That uh, no, these are some uh, shrubs, uh, bushes here and there and in which there are some uh, trees like that uh, and uh, uh, they are the birds are sitting there uh, okay and then there this hummingbird is trying to eat away the pollen okay, like that okay so i think uh, this is how we go about doing it uh, you can do a lot of detailing here See, this is only a basic setup which I am uh, teaching you people uh, because that is what can be done in such a short time. And you people don't uh, generally see through the entire video. Okay, so the problem remains there. Okay, so I have actually covered dries. Mm, we can do a little bit of detailing here, like this. Because see, this is not dry. So moving the pencil on that uh, it's a bit you know difficult uh, maybe the page uh, which uh, i'm using is a very you know normal grade paper which is uh, uh, of the leaves uh, stone we'd say a little bit of bunch you know like this like this here also you can show a little bit of you know, markings like this here there okay like this uh, you can have to do some little bit of more of detailing also as you feel. Um, and then you can add some uh, few flowers. Almost finished uh, with the drawing. Like this. Uh, okay. So that's it. Uh, I hope you are like this uh, uh, drawing very much. And um, uh, do practice it at home. It's very important. And uh, uh, do share this video to your family and friends. Okay, so they will also enjoy. So I'll, I'm ending the video here now. Thank you very much.